Championship, a podium here, regardless of a uh, year. In Alvaro Bautista's hands for the first time, he's got away well from fourth position. And that's what led Scott Redding to come through into fifth position, but already... This afternoon, for example, he running has got the pace to live with your traditional podium trio, the men who 18 times this... Only two, so that's a good pace right from the outset from him for Alvaro Bautista. He's not in a bad position right now. Catlioglu and Bautista, 19 times they've shared the podium. But you can see the pace at the front is slow because right now it is Bassani and Scott Redding down in 8th fastest and the next fastest rider out in the track so that shows you that the pace of the front not top rack Raz Gatlioglu Alvaro Bautista now has Axel Bassani on his tail Bassani a couple of these and he's going to have to make a clean move if he tries to get through on Bautista Bautista's dropped well back out at the front now we've seen that Ray's bottled up that lead group now it's up to top rack to try and be the cork in the bottom position so recovering after getting bundled out of the way as we come into lap 7 now and it is Raz Gatlioglu your race leader one and a half Tesha opening lap for Michael Rubin Rinaldi not the first time this weekend he's been caught out on the opening lap bit of an error there from Jonathan Ray and Alvaro Bautista is going to capitalize on it Ray was up all over pushing to try and stay with that lead duo while he's got them in sight uh, and all weekend we've seen Locatelli have a uh, good performance as well so Ray's going to be under a lot of pressure though Jonathan Ray watched race two of the Argentinian round where he threw away eight points after uh, missing a uh, long lap penalty. Uh, so Bassani needs to get his head down now and try. Really good job in that final sector. And he pulled back a quarter of a second on the overall lap and he's put himself into a position now to attack top rack. And it looks like it's into that final sector, the flip flops. Still behind them, still sixth place. And uh, Scott Redding in ninth, who is now only one and a half seconds behind uh, Lowe's. Very comfortable fourth in the World Championship standing. So he can afford to have a difficult weekend and uh, for Rinaldi it's just about trying to make sure you can pick off as many spots slower uh, than his uh, fastest lap of the race was uh, Axel Bassani last time around on lap 9 so uh, still maintaining that speed as he tries to position Bjerke versus Gerloff uh, Gerloff has uh, accelerated away from Alex Lowe since passing him and is now throwing a quick uh, opportunity to take stock Raz Gatlioglu versus Bautista at the doesn't look like he's got the, the bike has got Leoglu's rhythm up at the head of the field 723 meter start finish straight for Alvaro Bautista he pulls alongside Raz Gatlioglu nice and early but now they're under braking and that's where and get back on the leader's pace he was actually faster than both Raz Gatlioglu and Bautista last rack Raz Gatlioglu at this stage it is bringing Jonathan Ray back into the who again is alongside this time under braking can Bautista get it stopped in time it looks as though he can and the champion elect is also your race two leader here at the Mandan debris at the side of the circuit I think for uh, Kyle Smith who has uh, the flag zone there but now top rack can well but Alvaro's bike works really well from this point onwards and that's where he's going to try and make his move back on top rack and uh, Raz Gatlioglu who's been making passes on Jonathan Ray in towards turn number 10 might fancy it this time around if available to him uh, against Alvaro about the top rack Raz Gatlioglu and you can see he now fits in the same picture as the big two in the world championship who are duking it out for top spot in race two here this afternoon yeah Ray doing a really good job to dig in as far as uh, world title hunts have been concerned in the uh, eight most recent season we've got to be careful here because they could open the door for Jonathan Ray to come through and hit the front yeah but Bautista needs to be careful through the next four corners this is where Ray second third it doesn't really matter as long as I get this world championship over the line I think Alvaro's made it perfectly clear he wants to win this championship by winning the race or at least having a full battle all the way through the top three different manufacturers with their individual best men really going head to head got to be tied yesterday's race collected it nice and easily and then was able to get back to open up a big gap. I'll tell you what if Pirelli want to have a marketing campaign about their tires all they have to do is show 68 degrees because the kind of pace that Raz Gatlioglu is able to put in at this stage he obviously feels confident in Arnie tries the cut back and does get alongside Locatelli but doesn't quite have the 12 and 13 Locatelli will have the impetus as we come into 15 and 16 but doesn't look able to do a good job to get his way back up into sixth after those couple of mistakes early doors in this Bautista's just going to be settling it in to bring it home and take a place on the podium going on all the way down the field as ever We're defending the position he wants to uh, but otherwise it has been an outstanding season as far as Bautista is concerned if he could... for a long time since Carlos Checker won the championship these next lap and a half are going to be really <laughs> that he managed last year in can wrap up a second world championship for him of course former 125 Grand Prix world champion as well you can almost just really likes to have a scrap with everyone around him it's all about winning races from the difference between finishing and Rinaldi so it does look as though our top 10 positions are settled and bar the shadow driving in this paddock he won his first 11 races before he threw it all away redemption for 2019 three years on world SBK is seeing red again
maleta no. Mario, tía puta.